Hello everyone, this is the first tutorial on, S uh, on OpenGL with SDL so I use SDL as the windowing system and the input handling system and other things uh, so let's get started in this tutorial we will draw a triangle and I will call hello world program as I always do in the first program ok, one change you have to make is uh, you have to put the SDL open GL flag to here. This will tell to SDL that we want to use the open GL. It is just as simple as that. And I make an init function which will call in the main function. So void init. Okay, and in this init function I just set a few uh, things you sometimes see things in the init function like sdl gl set attribute and set the size of the red color and size of the depth and so on although i find that the default values work well so i don't uh, take the time to write uh, a lot of sdl gl set attributes so i don't okay so the first thing i do is to set the clear color so uh, GL clear color uh, basically that is the background color so you just uh, write what is the color is from 0 to 1 so 1 mean the maximum of that color and 0 mean the mi minimum of that color so this is basically the background color <laughs> so we use the 0, 0, 0, 0, we use floats obviously because we want from 0 to 1 and we need double or floats for that and we need a fourth parameter, this is the alpha we already talked about alpha in the SDL tutorial but uh, if you don't know, basically the transparency so 0 means it is completely transparent so it would have no effect, One point, uh, so 1 is mean that it is completely opaque so yeah we will use that because it will delete everything okay so we set the clear color this will basically the background color you can imagine as yes, that all right now we need to change the matrix mode we use the gl matrix mode for that uh, yeah, it needs some math to it, but basically OpenGL represents everything in matrices. There are different matrices, like uh, there are a model view matrix which we'll use most of the time, and there are a projection. There is a projection matrix which, which actually contain what part of the three D scene should be rendered to the screen. Okay, so we set the prior projection, GL projection is our projection matrix and this will tell which part of the screen should be put in the screen because uh, obviously we cannot put everything in the screen because it's 3D okay and I use another command GL load identity uh, this uh, function basically set everything back to normal load the identity matrix if you like that but you can imagine it, 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 imagine that if we, we set back to normal everything is normal so we can so yeah if we already changed something it would be changed back uh, to the original that's about that I know it's uh, could be a little complicated at first but don't worry too much uh, you will use to it I think that's how it says okay and now we use a function which will determine that uh, what part of the 3d skin do we uh, see this is the GLU uh, perspective GLU perspective uh, this is not an open GL command it is a uh, command from the utility library by the way I see in the moment we forget to include the GL header file and uh, yeah the most important thing is last for last so gl slash gl dot h I 
Uh, so include gs the glu dot h. Uh, probably all of the system uh, the gl is under the so the gl dot h is under uh, is in the folder gl with capital gl actually i see it in windows and linux so i guess uh, most of the system so uh, glu perspective is give what part of the 3d skin should be rendered it is actually uh, represent your eye it is uh, a pyram it is basically a pyramid and the uh, closer and some uh, uh, farther part of the pyramid is actually clipped down with a plane which is perpendicular to the surface so it is uh, basically uh, look like that so approximately looks like that okay uh, by the way there is a similar command which is an OpenGL command called GL frustrum uh, that's basically do the same things although it's weight parameter that not so logical okay so the first parameter of GL perspective is the angle so this angle in the eye uh, I just set it 45 degrees okay the next parameter is the ratio between the width and the height so this is in our case uh, uh, 640 divided by 480 like that the next parameter is the closer clipper plane so how far is that uh, so how far is this plane from the eye? Uh, I just set it one because one. Okay, and then the next is how far the farther clipper pa uh, plane. So make some uh, high distance, make three uh, five hundred. Okay, that's about it. We set the perspective, so we will see uh, everything which is in this part of the so this pyramid thing so uh, whichever is inside of this thing we will see and whichever is outside we will not see that's easy one. okay and now we have to set the back the matrix mode to the model view so gl matrix mode and gl model view most of the time we will uh, be in the model view uh, matrix in this case we will be in the model view matrix in the end of the program but if you set the SDR uh, resizable flag in here so we can resize our program because of uh, the at default the SDL window cannot be resized then you can make a resize function which will set back to uh, the projection and do these things uh, ob obviously with the new size after the resize and use another function called GL viewport and GL viewport basically just tell the pixels of the window so you set 0 0 and the width height that's uh, that's about that uh, by the way at default the uh, GL viewport set the values for our window so we don't really have to care about that until we resize because it will not follow it okay uh, yeah that was a little bit complicated but don't worry about too much uh, yeah uh, we will go through these things again and again and again and finally it will be just as easy as that okay and we make a display function display function will just basically clear the screen and draw something so we use the gl clear for clear the screen and we have to give which buffer should it uh, clear the screen so which actually you see is the color buffer so gl uh, color buffer bit 
so this is the color buffer the, uh, everything you see in the screen there are several other buffers like death bus the death buster buffer we will not use that at the moment later we will so later we will uh, clear that too in here for now i just clear the color buffer okay and then draw something uh, i use the gl begin and every GL begin has a corresponding GL end. So in here, in the GL begin, you have to give what what we want to draw. Um, at the top of my head, there is points, lines, line loop, line strip. Oh no, line loop, uh, triangles, triangle funds, triangle strips, quads, quads, uh, quad strips, and polygons. Oh or something like that i don't know i just uh, tell the top of my head most of the times you want to draw uh, triangle triangles or quads uh, for your 3d model so set the gl triangles we will draw one triangle to the screen uh, by the way you see that this is triangle not triangle so you can uh, add more to it so if you give six vertexes then it will draw two uh, uh, triangle if you give one uh, if you give three uh, vertexes it will draw a triangle to the screen if you give five it will draw a triangle to the screen and two of them is it just erased so don't care about that so in here you just give what do you want to draw by the way you see I use a uh, additional tabulator in here although it shouldn't be in the uh, you know the rules of the C++ so C uh, but uh, I do so it is easier it is more easily see what do we draw uh, in between the GL begin and GL end you cannot give any kind of OpenGL command, but you can uh, give uh, so a lot of. For now, just the GL vertex should be enough because we'll dra just draw GL vertex, but later we can add GL normals and GL color uh, and so on, so a lot of things. <coughs> okay, so we will draw a vertex. Uh, if you know what a vertex is, a uh, vertex have so ah, probably you know what uh, the vertex is. So the so the vertex. Okay. Uh, so if you draw a triangle, you give a vertex right here, for example, right here and right here, and uh, this will be a triangle like that. Uh, so basically that's what vertex is you just give a point in the space 3d space 